Hey there, Salvador here with Detailers Growth, and today I am sitting down with Steven out in Houston, Texas. How are you, man? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm good, man. Thank you so much for sitting down and making the time, and mainly just to talk about your journey working with us, what business was like before, what results have you gotten, to hopefully help out somebody who is watching this on the other end, just to get a feel for who we are, how we work, and ultimately the kind of results that you've gotten. Of course. And if I'm not mistaken, you were at one point that person on the other end watching other clients' success interviews. And yeah, we'll go into your entire journey with us. You came on board early July of this year, 2023. But yeah, let's go back to what business was like before you came on board. Oh, man. Uh, business was always really up and down. Uh, so this is actually my fifth year in business. Um, and before they had, I don't know if you know, but they had an iOS update um, about two or three years ago yep. uh, where it made it where that when it's going to ask you, hey, about location services and almost everyone's going to say, I don't want to share location. So prior, I was able to do advertising just for the most part, just do an area. Everyone was going to see it because there was no option not to. And it was good. Not as good as it is now, but it was good. I would average about, you know, nine to $11,000 a month. And as someone who was solo, I was at a really, thought I was comfortable at that price point, but I always knew that I wanted to grow, to compete with a lot of these other individuals. And some guys, they're out there making 30, 40, 50, 60, 70,000 dollars a month or more. So yeah, I always knew I wanted an agency. Didn't take it serious until about last year when me and you first had our first call. But my wife kind of talked me out of it. She's like, babe, just up your advertising budget. And I did. I ended up bumping it to about thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars a month, and I was still stuck at nine, ten, eleven, twelve thousand dollars. Yeah. So you bumped up the budget, but you were not getting the returns that you were looking for. And just to double click on the iOS update for those listening, I want to say it was two thousand twenty-one or twenty-two towards yep, the fall. Somewhere around there. Apple gave users, iPhone users, typically the higher income demographic the option to opt out of being tracked. So that just killed, man, I remember that. Oh, it was not fun. But essentially, we had a switch and pivot to a new strategy of targeting. But yeah, man, that, that took a ding on a lot of businesses. And you really had to focus more on advertising. You had to focus, you had to get smarter with it. You had to strategize, which we definitely helped our clients navigate towards. But you were advertising, you were running your own advertising. You were spending about eleven hundred dollars per month, still stuck between nine to twelve thousand dollars per month. Mm -hmm. And at this point, were you doing just coatings or a mix of detailing and coatings? Um, it, it was more so a mixture. I would say it was a mixture. Got it. So okay. I was working a lot more and a lot harder than I'm working now, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, a lot more break back breaking work with mm -hmm. interior detailing for what I would say about the same time as it takes to coat a car, depending on the package. Yep. Okay, so you were running your ads, weren't getting the results you were looking for, and then what kind of steps did you take afterwards? Oh, uh, well, the first step is I'm in a couple of Facebook groups, so like detailers, grow for money, et cetera, et cetera, right? Yep. So there was a guy or a company, I should say, that was highly rated or by a couple of guys that I don't know personally, but I you know, respect that recommended me using. So... Instead of jumping with you immediately, I'm like, oh man, well, this guy, they use Google Ads. But everyone's like, Google Ads is it's just so much better than Facebook. And I, I fell into that hype, right? So I end up going with him, paying literally about it was like a hundred dollars more than what you're charging, actually. Went on with him, and I mean, it, it was horrible. It was such a bad experience. The communication, like if I text you, I'm gonna get a response that day. If it's not you, it's gonna be someone from your team member. But with other agency, it just wasn't like that. I mean, I get right now anywhere between four, five, six, seven, eight leads a day. There was a seven-day stretch where I didn't get one lead with the other agency. And funny thing about it, I made a post on one of the Facebook groups, didn't name any names. And when I say I got three or four messages from other people saying, who do you use? And I'm like, hey, I don't want to really, did you use X company? I'm like, man, really, you too? <laughs> uh, you know, so it was a horrible decision. I basically lost that money. And after that, I told my man, I was like, yeah, I'm going with Sal, man. You know, just looking at who he's worked with, the way he presents himself. And it's been amazing. So it's been, I'm on, oh man, this is going to be month three. Damn. July, August. So this is, I think my third month. 
Time flies. Yeah, time flies. So about uh, my best month, I believe, was about 12,000. And I mean, I remember a couple of the months, that was hard work, man. Averaging between two to $300 on a job. I mean, it, it was a lot, right? So anyways, since I've been on board, this is my third month. The first month, I was about 13. I want to say the second month was had to have been better. And then we ended up changing up the presentation as far as having me in the video. So last month, I made 16 grand. And, and I just see it becoming better from here on. I bought a drone, so there's going to be some things I'm going to do as far as advertising videos and sending over to you nice. so you can do your thing and whatever you feel. But yeah, it's been a, a blessing. Man, it's been a blessing. <laughs> awesome. So just to recap, you went from doing anywhere between 9,000 with a mix of both interiors and a little bit of coatings here and there, but mm -hmm. it, it sounds mostly like interiors, correct? Those $200 correct. jobs, man, even that itself is amazing, right? Because $200, you're doing those, you're knocking out maybe two to three per day. So dude, you must've been exhausted and you're like, hey, I need to switch to coatings. What made you kind of decide that coatings were the way to go? So I got International Details Association certified in 2000, right before COVID in Vegas. I got certified, so I was doing coatings. But if I may average three or four a month before I jumped on board. So it wasn't just strictly $200. You know, I might have the $600, $800, you know, to kind of round it off. But just to say the past three months, I have a 2023 ProMaster and I'm about to sell it, right? So I sold my truck. Now I'm looking at it, probably just getting an F-250 and I have a Hellcat. So nice. I'm most likely just going straight to the F-250, putting a small water tank. Because I mean, in the past three months with you, I've maybe done six mobile jobs. So I'm mostly in the shop, you know, and it's, it's again, it's been incredible. And just like we had a little a sales coaching call that we do every Wednesdays, guys. And I've turned down a lot of jobs because I'm stubborn on the pricing. So if I didn't, like our, one of our sales coach was mentioning, I, I probably could have easily broke 20 grand last month. Yeah, I you think know, so. this, this month of October, you definitely will. And it's insane because, and I see this all the time when I'm talking with clients that like just making the most, like the smallest changes in their sales process can make the biggest difference when you look mm -hmm. back at the last 30 days at the end of the month. And yeah, I'm almost positive that this month you'll break 20 grand without a doubt with just coatings using the sales techniques that we have. And the cool thing about that is it like that coaching program that we have, which all clients get is it's not just a course, right? The course is just the fundamentals, but every mm -hmm. week we meet and we just either, you know, one of my favorite sayings is people need to be reminded more than they need to be taught. Cause I think everybody understands what they need to do with anything that really moves the needles, especially with sales, but circling back around to those points and really double clicking, expanding, drilling it in, getting mm -hmm. some practice reps in with those uh, role plays that we do. That right there is what I would say is the biggest needle mover for mostly all clients. Dude, I was in, process. I don't remember when it was, three, four weeks ago, something. I was on vacation with my wife and kids on a Wednesday. And what I typically do, just because they're so informative, is I'll join and just put it on mute. <laughs> you know, it's 45 yeah. minutes to an hour just to learn, see what a lot of the questions is. Because sometimes I won't really talk. I may unmute it, ask a quick question and go right back on mute because yeah. I just typically am always working or whatever. Um, and, and I think that's just to reiterate for anyone out there watching, I think that's one of the main benefits is traditionally, at least with the company I had prior, which was highly rated, it, it, you're on your own. You know, like you're on your own. For instance, how Sal does it, you get a sales script that you can... It's not really to go verbatim. You just look at it and do your own remix to it and it, it works. And then every Wednesday, you're going to get on the phone with successful guys who you will want to be in the position they are as far as detailing and ask them whatever you want to ask. And then the network, I'm sure if I wanted to message Khalil or any of these guys that they'll, hey, Steve, what do you have? We're under the same umbrella. And, and I mean, it's been amazing. And like I've told you since I met you, I hope that you keep growing, man. And yeah, you're doing a good job. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, man. And just to kind of go into more detail on your journey, right? So you started off mobile detailing. In the beginning, you're running your ads for both interiors and ceramics. You worked with an agency. It wasn't a good fit. You came on board, but you mentioned something earlier on the call that you waited almost a year to come on board. And that's not the first time I've heard that. So just <laughs> all good, man. Mm -hmm. But what 
I guess, what was the hesitation before coming on board? Not with just us, but just anybody. Oh, okay. Well, the biggest hesitation is because there's a lot of bad advertising agencies, just to, in, in, in short. And I just wasn't sure. There was another company I was considering. They were in like Taiwan or something, really highly rated. But I just wasn't sure who I was going to go with. And it's funny because when the first time we spoke last year, your prices were a lot cheaper then, right? And now you're still competitive, man. Like I would say you're still not the most expensive by far. So my hesitation was just thinking that I could possibly do it myself. And in my opinion, I, I left a lot of money on the table not coming on sooner. I mean, I wish I could have found you two years ago. You know, a lot of money was left on the table, which, you know, you got to just take it on the chin and just whatever, go forward. And just a hesitation, didn't want to find a bad company and thinking I could do it myself. Uh, and I, my degree is in computer engineering, so I probably could, but I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. So. And I think that's one of the biggest things. It's like, I think it's good for people who might not be able to afford the monthly retainer to get to the point where they can, but then anything after that, you're kind of hurting yourself because I think the main oh, reason, man. yeah, the main reason why somebody, it's very hard to run your own ads when you're doing anything above 10 K right with coatings. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Go ahead. Let me say this <laughs> because I wasn't, I'm never, I'm not broke. Right. But I rationale with myself where, hey, this nine, a thousand, eleven hundred dollars, whatever you're being charged, I could use that better in my pocket and to put some more in my ad spend. But I don't care if you make five thousand dollars a month and and, and I, I'm the realest as you're gonna get. I don't care if you're making five grand a month, you can afford the retainer because you're gonna get the money back. You're gonna yeah. get the money back. If you're not good at sales. Thal is going to teach you with his network of himself also, but with the network we have. Um, so I don't think it's ever a situation where someone won't can't necessarily afford it. They just don't see the value, similar to what we're taught with selling codings or whatnot, right? They need yeah. to see the value. And, and my opinion is, I mean, like that that payment that I pay you, dude, I'm like, whatever. Like that's, <laughs> that's whatever, you know, seriously. And it's, I'm getting the leads and it's just up to me. Uh, to keep remixing, getting better on the sales side, just hypothetically, can can you afford spending five thousand dollars in advertising a month? Oh my God, no, I couldn't. But what if I told you if you're spending five thousand dollars a month in advertising, you're gonna get back thirty thousand? You can afford it. You can. Okay, so if you're someone you're doing advertising yourself and you're spending ten or fifteen dollars a day in advertising, which is like really low typically. So that's between like three and uh, $450 a month, just hypothetically. Chances are, are what you're getting in, getting out of it is not going to be high quality, right? So you need someone who's in the industry like yourself, where your whole job is to reach clients and for them to reach up to us and for us to have the knowledge to close the job, whatever our prices are, whether we charge three grand or whether we charge 500, that's up to us in our pricing. And it's just up to you to get us the jobs. So Sal... And detailers growth, they're going to get you the jobs. I mean, I may get, I don't know, I, I would have to look up my, how many leads I get a month, but close to between 80 and 100, I think, just theoretically. And you got to think, even if you close 20% of those, which I don't know the number, but if you close 20% of 80 and your average ticket is 1,000, how much are you making? 20,000, right there, yeah. Exactly, exactly. So you can afford it. Anyone could afford it. And, and, and my opinion is to just, if you try it for one month, save up, do what you have to do, try it for one month. And literally, I, I, I watched one of the calls you did on YouTube, which I, when I reached out yesterday, like, what's up with my call? And that guy also said, as soon as you got it, it went live. I think you did it within 48 and 72 hours or something. And immediately he was getting leads. As soon as my ad went live, I remember it was the same thing. I was like, I wasn't expecting to get leads in the, within a day. And Lily, it, 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 it has. Yeah. So I have a, a three thousand dollar job on Friday, which is an RV. That's from a lead I got from you. That that lead ended up turning to a referral, and this referral is a three thousand dollar job. Yeah. You know, so not, not only are you going to get the leads, it's imperative to know that those leads, if you do a good job, are going to open doors to other leads also. You know, so yeah. One hundred percent. And one thing I do want to highlight is. Like the best partnerships 
our favorite clients that we have are those where it's a mutual partnership because it really is. It's like, you know, we have to deliver on our side, you as well, in order to get the result that we're both looking for, right? And mm -hmm. I think a lot of that comes down to just be willing to refine your sales process. Steven, can you talk about why it's so important to have a good sales process and to refine it to ultimately get that return on investment that you're looking for? Oh my God, that, that's an awesome question. Well, I was at a company for five years called Circuit City, which is no longer around. So I always had a sales job. And, and so I thought I knew everything as far as speaking with customers and whatnot. And until I started really learning from these Wednesday calls, and I'm like, oh my God, I have a, I really have a lot to learn as far as you know, certain steps that you you that we tend to say, okay, well, this is what you should do. I don't want to really give too much secrets <laughs> out, right? But there, there's there's different ways to get close to jobs, right? And it's imperative to want to learn and want to grow. And and, and that's what anyone, you know, Sal will tell you, hey, I, I'm I'm much better than I was a couple of years ago, and because Sal is growing, and I'm sure where he's going to be now in five years are going to be totally different, also. So my main thing in life is life is a ladder, right? How far in the step you want to go up the ladder is that's up to you. That's up to you. It's not up to Sal. It's not up to your mom or your wife or your kids. So you have to want to grow. And I've learned a lot whenever I message you and say, hey, I have this um, question or whatever. You'll say, hey, well, can I call you this time? Sure. And, and so the, the communication is excellent. I'm always able to get the help I need. And we're all going to start at a different different stool on a ladder. But if you want to grow, in my opinion, especially in detailing, detailers growth is where you should be. And I'm not just saying that. I mean, anyone could say it, but I'm just keeping it real. Yeah, Stephen. And I think you're 100% proof of that entire journey that you can go from mobile detailing, you know, doing backbreaking $200 jobs that take three to four hours, right? Those disgusting vehicles to transitioning in a predictable way to just doing coatings to where you do have, you're able, you're in a position to just work out of your shop. You don't have to worry about the mobile vehicle anymore. You could actually sell mm -hmm. it and just focus solely on ceramics and hopefully expand it to other things. That's the goal. It's my opinion on, on working. We work to live. You don't live to work. <laughs> so, you know, it does, I don't care how much money, what type of business you own. You want to, one, make enough money where you can do things outside of work or business ownership that you enjoy doing. Like I'm married. I have been married. I've been with my wife since I was 16, right? I'm 35 now. Uh, so I have a five-year-old daughter, a 12-year-old son. So we travel a lot. And, and having the opportunity to travel and go when I want to go and go wherever I want to go, whether I want to go to Jamaica or New York or Orlando, it, it really doesn't matter because of the opportunities, the doors that's opened being a business owner, but then also learning, hey, I can't do everything myself. Hey, well, I'm not the best at advertising. Now I can learn, but do I want to spend, every day is a dollar you lost. Do I want to spend months and months and months and months and thousands of dollars maybe getting good at it? Or do I want to pay someone a fee that's really irrelevant in the grand scope of your profits and what you, the potential you can make every month? You know, so yeah, yeah, it's been amazing. It's been amazing, Sal. I'm always learning week to week. I plan on getting into other businesses soon, but this is opening my cash flow to be able to get less of a loan from the bank when I decide to make another move. Yeah. And I think that's a really good point that you mentioned in the beginning is you want to be in a position where you have options, right? You're not worrying about the day to day. You're not, how did I phrase it last time? It's like, you're not working in the business, you're working on the business where you can bring on team members, you can scale or not scale to the speed that you want. But Stephen, what would you say to somebody who is on the fence, somebody on the other end watching this call, they're hesitant, they don't know if it's the right choice for them. What would you say to somebody who might be on the board, on the fence of working with detailers growth? I'm going to throw this out there real quick, Sal, and I don't know if you want to end this out, but I think that it would really help as far as someone who may be on the fence. You should open up the Wednesday calls to some potential people who you may or speak to and they're like on the fence. And if you don't hear from them, say, hey, how about you join our, our 45 minutes to an hour Zoom call on Wednesday? And that's just throwing that out there. I think that would really help. But what I would tell anyone that's on the fence to join, do it. <laughs> I mean, do it, especially, it doesn't matter if you're an interior mobile guy, if you're a car wash, uh, $80 guy. The main thing with, it's easy to get, that was weird. 
it's easy to get fifty dollars what jobs that anyone can do that if you if you go on facebook marketplace if that's who you are you can yes. get those type of jobs do you want those type of jobs i, I won't touch a car for anything less than 120 and that's a it's, it has to be a little coupe mustang that's just a basic if it's over an hour and 15 minutes then you get bumped up to another package right and and i typically now don't even really do details like i rarely do details it's mostly ceramic coatings it's mostly ceramic coatings but anyway to touch on it what i would tell someone on the other side watching this is Take it from me. It, this has been amazing. I've tried other companies. My name's Steven Johnson. If you're on any of these main Facebook groups, Details of Facebook, Details for Money, Detail is Haven. If you look up Steven Johnson, S T E P H E N, I'm very active on these forums. A lot of people know me and respect me. And, and, and reach out to me, man. I'm not getting paid for this. Sal has been amazing. And he's going to be very responsive from your onboarding process until once you get on board. You're not going to feel like, oh man, once I paid this money, I'm not worth anything now. That's not how Sal's going to treat you. That's not how his team's going to treat you. And I guarantee that wherever you are, before you start, you're going to be leaps and bounds better than when you join. And then I, I plan on six months from now being way further than I am today. So join. Awesome, man. Thank you so much, Stephen. Thank you so much for sitting down, making the time, telling everybody about your experience, you know, being so transparent about, you know, if anybody has questions, they can always reach out to Stephen on Facebook, right? You are active in the groups. But yeah, man, is there anything else that you'd like to add? No, of course not. I, listen, again, if someone's watching this in on the fence, I don't want to make it feel like we're selling you anything. We're not, it's, this isn't a sales pitch. Sal is the real deal. If you want to get more leads, Sal is going to get you more leads. This is really that simple. And I, I don't want to make it seem like a sales pitch, Sal. You, your work speaks for yourself. How you conduct yourself in your business with your team speaks for itself. And whoops. And a lot of guys will, will vouch for that. And yeah, you know, so that's it, man. I mean, you're good. Uh, you treated me well. This is month three. And hopefully we're still getting a month th at three-year mark. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Yes. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. All right. I'm back to painting, bro.